This video is an introduction to the administration of telemagine Lherperepvac into tumors of the liver using the coaxial injection technique. The biopsy procedure is also shown. Before proceeding, please check that the following conditions are met. Institutional guidelines for withholding of anticoagulants for liver biopsy of liver-directed procedures have been followed. Subjects have an international normalized ratio less than or equal to 1.5 and adequate platelets. Subject is not on corticosteroid greater than 10 milligrams of prednisone daily or equivalent. Lesions that are less than one centimeter from the hepatic capsule or from major intrahepatic bile ducts should not be injected. Lesions with necrotic cores should have a large enough viable non-necrotic portion to reliably inject. Avoid injecting directly into the necrotic portion of the tumor. The FDA-approved dosing regimen of telemagine Lherperepvac for metastatic melanoma is an initial dose of up to 4 milliliters of 10 to the 6 plaque forming units per milliliter, followed by up to 4 milliliters of 10 to the 8 plaque forming units per milliliter after 3 weeks and then up to 4 milliliters of 10 to the 8 plaque forming units per milliliter every two weeks. This dose is approved for cutaneous, subcutaneous, and lymph node injection. In trials, the injection volume of telemagine Lherperepvac into the liver tumor depends on the size and the percentage of tumor necrosis, and intrahepatic injections are performed every three weeks for up to 12 cycles. A cycle is three weeks. Before beginning, let's review quickly the materials that you will need. All personnel handling telemagine Lherperepvec will need protective clothing, gloves, and a safety shield or glasses. A 17-gauge introducer needle. If no biopsy is being performed on the visit, a 20-gauge introducer needle is recommended if coaxial injection technique is used. An 18-gauge core needle biopsy gun on days that a sample is to be taken long 22 to 26 gauge needles for injection. Local anesthetic may be used as appropriate. Sterile antiseptics. For saline washout, injectable normal saline. The cleanup gear that will be needed for the injection site post-procedure consists of alcohol swab, a new pair of gloves, absorbent pad and dry occlusive dressing. A syringe should be prepared for each needle insertion planned. Take care not to shake the vials especially during the thawing process. Clean the telemagine Lherperepvac vial stopper with an alcohol swab. Withdraw the volume of telemagine Lherperepvac required with the appropriate number of sterile syringes and 22 to 26 gauge needles. Note the total volume. Sterilize the entire area with agents such as iodine or chlorhexidine. The skin and subcutaneous soft tissues along the injection tract to the liver capsule may be pre-treated with an injectable local anesthetic such as lidocaine. An ultrasound may be used to ensure that anesthetic is not injected beyond the liver capsule. The example in this video will demonstrate coaxial injection technique. Coaxial technique is required on days where liver tumor biopsy will be performed and optional at other times. Telemagine Lherperepvec may be administered with either CT or ultrasound guidance. Direct needle insertion may be performed only on non-biopsy days. Use ultrasound guidance to determine the path of needle insertion. Using a scalpel, make the incision for the introducer needle. Before doing a biopsy or attaching the telemagine Lherperepvec injection syringe to the needle, ensure that the introducer needle is properly positioned using CT or ultrasound guidance. Insert the introducer needle tip to just outside the tumor, but not into the tumor itself. 
A 17 gauge introducer should be used on biopsy days and a smaller gauge introducer if coaxial technique is to be used on non-biopsy days for telemagine laherparepvac injection. Here we see ultrasound guidance of the introducer needle. A CT scan can also be used to confirm the correct positioning of the introducer needle. On days that a biopsy is required, perform the biopsy before injecting telemagine laherparepvac. A reminder that a 17 gauge introducer needle should be used for the 18 gauge biopsy needle. Remove the trocar from the introducer needle. Prepare the biopsy gun. Insert the biopsy gun into the introducer needle and fire it when the biopsy needle is within the tumor. When ready to inject, remove the trocar from the introducer needle, if present, and insert the needle attached to the telemagine laherparepvac syringe. Apply negative pressure on the plunger before injecting to ensure that there is no free-flowing blood that would suggest the needle is intravascularly positioned. Insert to the distal end of the tumor and slowly administer telemagine laherparepvac while withdrawing the needle towards the proximal end of the tumor. In general, telemagine laherparepvac should be injected into multiple viable areas of the tumor. A needle can be inserted to the most distal pole of the tumor and then have telemagine laherparepvac released along the needle tract as the injection needle is slowly pulled to the proximal pole of the tumor. The introducer needle can also be angled slightly to allow different needle tracts within a tumor to be injected. In necrotic lesions, injection of telemagine laherparepvac into the necrotic cores should be avoided. In tumors that are too dense to penetrate with a needle, inject along the outer periphery of the tumor. Withdraw the telemagine laherparepvac injection needle and reinsert the trocar before repositioning the needle. Again, remove the trocar and insert the injection needle into the introducer as before for injection of telemagine laherparepvac. When the injection needle is in the appropriate position, attach a syringe with one milliliter of normal saline and wash out the injection needle. After telemagine laherparepvac administration is completed, the injection needle should receive a washout administered preferentially away from any prior site of telemagine laherparepvac administration, either into the decrotic core of lesions or just proximal to the lesion as shown in this diagram. To review, let's revisit the injection needle positioning using CT guidance. The following CT images are from a simulated tumor, appearing as darker gray. First, insert the needle to the distal end of the tumor. Two, administer telemagine laherparepvac while slowly withdrawing the needle toward the proximal end of the tumor. Three, reposition the introducer at a slightly different angle and reinsert the injection needle to the distal end of the tumor. Four, administer telemagine laherparepvac while slowly withdrawing to the proximal end of the tumor. Five, once telemagine laherparepvac administration is completed, withdraw the injection needle to a proximal location outside the tumor and administer a one milliliter normal saline washout. On biopsy days, a procoagulant such as gel foam can be administered after biopsy, telemagine laherparepvac injection, and saline washout. In this example, a small piece of gel foam procoagulant is obtained, and then it is moistened with saline and rolled until it is thin enough to place into the end of an empty syringe. Withdraw the introducer needle approximately 1 to 2 centimeters proximally before administering any procoagulants into the liver. Place the gel foam at the end of an empty one milliliter syringe and push the gel foam into the introducer needle. Use the trocar to push the gel foam completely through the introducer needle. After removing the introducer needle, 
clean the injection site with alcohol and apply pressure until bleeding stops. Before applying the dressing, dispose of the gloves used to administer a telemagene leherper Epfec and put on a new pair of gloves. This avoids possible contamination of the dressing with any telemagene leherper Epfec that might be present on the used gloves. The injection site should be covered with an absorbent pad and dry occlusive dressing such as Tigoderm. Finally, wipe down the outside of the dressing with an alcohol swab to remove any contaminating telemagene leherper Epfec that might be present on the outer surface of the dressing. This administration route of telemagene leherper Epfec is not approved.